Imagine your most guarded secrets, identity, emails, passwords, stolen, not by a masked thief, but by an anonymous intruder. When the walls of privacy are breached, it's not just numbers that scatter, it's pieces of lives, dreams, and trust. You've heard of data breaches, massive leaks of information, but have you ever stopped to think about the real fallout, the kind that doesn't show up in headlines? These are more than tales of financial loss or identity theft. They're about the shattered pieces of trust, families in distress, careers destroyed. Today, we're peeling back the layers to explore the true cost of what it's like to be hacked. We're uncovering the hidden pain, struggle, and heartbreak of those caught in the chaos. It's not just about the loot. Sometimes it's a show of cyber bravado, leaving your data in the hands of those who find thrill in causing chaos. So let's peel back the layers and explore the true cost of what it's like to be breached. But before we dive in, picture this. With Toss C3 by your side, the daunting odds of a data breach plummet to less than 1%. Click the link in the description below to see how we make this happen. Ready? Hacking is an all too common threat today, almost as common as the air we breathe. In contrast to the dramatic portrayals seen in Hollywood, the truth about hacking is often less flashy, but can be equally, if not more dangerous. Hackers driven by a desire for recognition typically aim to accomplish high impact attention grabbing acts rather than demonstrating deep technical expertise. Understanding this aspect of hacking is crucial in a world increasingly dependent on technology. Most of the time, planned hacking attacks don't need advanced computer skills. It's often more about quietly watching someone enter their pin at an ATM or taking advantage of small software flaws to find a way in. But hacking isn't just about ordinary looking people trying to access your most private information. Many personal hacking attempts come from people you might know, like an ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend. They might try to get into your accounts just because they're curious. Consider the chilling case of former Miss Teen USA Cassidy Wolf. She was targeted by a perverted classmate who hacked into her webcam. One evening, while Cassidy was having a casual dinner with friends, she got a Facebook notification. It was an alert about someone from a different state trying to break into her account. What she didn't know then was that this was the start of a year-long nightmare. 30 minutes later, she received a strange email from the person causing all this trouble. The message was simple but very disturbing. Do what they say or embarrassing photos taken without her permission would be shared all over social media. When she looked at the email, she was shocked. It had two pictures taken by her own webcam showing parts of her bedroom. She didn't know that someone had been secretly watching her for more than a year, starting from her last year of high school and going into the beginning of her college days. The surprise grew when law enforcement found out who the hacker was. It wasn't a stranger from far away, but someone from Cassidy's own high school. Even though they had seen each other in the busy school hallways without really talking, realizing that the hacker was so close by was really frightening. This wasn't a one-time thing. Shockingly, there were 12 other victims of hacking in the same high school, while two had gone through the same torment of being blackmailed with private photographs that were taken without the victim's knowledge. The impact of this event went far beyond just one person. It affected many others. The hacker, who has admitted to hacking and trying to blackmail others, was charged with a prison sentence of 18 months, but was later on released after his parents signed a bond agreement totaling $50,000 while being detained at home with electronic monitoring. This upsetting experience did more than just expose her to the dangers of the online world. It also made it hard for her to trust people. The sense of safety she once had is gone. At first, she had many nights where she couldn't sleep, startled by every alert sound, worried about more threats. Even today, thinking about what happened can make people feel uneasy. It shows just how open we all are to risks on the internet. Let's take a closer look at another major hacking incident. A group of hackers known as the Impact Team broke into Ashley Madison's system. This website, based in Canada, was designed for married people who wanted to have affairs. The hackers released a list of all the users. This made many users and their families worried and anxious. The hackers called the users cheating dirtbags to justify their actions. 
One story that really stood out was about John Gibson, a 56-year-old pastor and dad of two. He took his life six days after his name came out in the hack, leaving his family to deal with the fallout. His wife found him and shared his note, which showed he was very sorry and couldn't forgive himself, even though he often forgave others. His son, Trey, talked about his dad's deep sadness that led to his suicide. But the sad part is John Gibson wasn't the only one. There were reports of other suicides linked to the hack, prompting authorities to investigate two more cases. Even though some might think it's okay to laugh at the people who were caught, the situation is actually very complicated. Hacking and data breaches really hurt people's lives. They can break up families and destroy reputations. These events cause long-term harm and show how harmful they can be. This story shows that the people on these lists are real and they're hurting. It's more than just gossip. It shows the real harm that comes from privacy violations. Data breaches are not just about losing money. They affect people's lives deeply. In today's world, where technology can be a great help but also a big risk, anything is possible online. A cyber attack can destroy years of work in just a moment. It's really worrying to think that someone would try to steal your personal information. The stress and anger caused by such attacks can be too much to handle. Some businesses have even gone back to using paper records because they were so scared after a ransomware attack shut down their computers. But imagine this, with Toss C3 by your side, the overwhelming odds of a data breach drop dramatically. In fact, the risk falls to less than 1%. Click the link in the description below to see how we make this happen. We need to understand that the effects of a data breach go beyond money. It's an attack on your life. To stay safe, don't click on suspicious emails. Be careful with your personal information and get expert help if you think you've been hacked. Always be alert. You can't be sure what dangers might be lurking in your personal devices.